I'm currently in Derbala with my husband's family, my family, my grandchildren. We've no electricity, we've no water. The food we do have, which is little, will not last because there's no electric and it will spoil. I have four grandchildren in this home, a two-month-old baby, a four-year-old, and today, two nine-year-old twins, their birthday. I ask the world to help the Palestinians. <laughs> Uh, and the idea is that in case of uh, emergency, the Rambam Hospital, which is on regular days have 1,100 beds, is basically coming down into the underground hospital. We desert the hospital above us. Everybody, the patient, the staff, the equipment, everybody, everything is coming down. So in case of military confrontation, everything is protected and we can continue to work and deliver medical care as usual. People of Israel have long and rightly prided themselves on their self-reliance, on their ability to defend themselves, even when the odds are stacked against them. The message that I bring to Israel is this. You may be strong enough on your own to defend yourself, but as long as America exists, you will never ever have to. We will always be there by your side. I've spoken with representatives of the Palestinian Authority and of course it's really important that we recognise that Hamas, a terrorist organisation, does not speak on behalf of the uh, Palestinian people as a whole or indeed uh, the Arab uh, people within the region. They are a terrorist organization that have perpetrated atrocities uh, uh, both in uh, southern Israel and of course with the kidnapped uh, people that they've taken into Gaza.